The Tomorrow War is a 2021 sci-fi film uh, directed by Chris McKay and written by Zach Dean. It stars Chris Pratt, Ivan Strahovski, J.K. Simmons, and Betty Gilpin. Uh, this movie had a very high budget for, <laughs> for a direct-to-streaming to release of $200 million. And of course, as I just said, uh, no box office take because it went straight to Prime Video. It's got a uh, tomato meter rating at 55% with an audience score of 82%. Another one with a really big discrepancy between the audience and, and critics. Like... I'm yeah. always interested when that happens, where it's like, you know, is there I'm always interested in the reason for that? Um, but the, uh, the stage for Tomorrow War is set by the arrival of a group of time travelers uh, that came from the year 2051, who inform us, you know, 28 years in the past that uh, in the future, mankind is losing a war against an alien invasion and a mix of uh, present day military and civilians need to be sent to the future um, and assist in t hopefully turning the tide of the battle. Uh, the uh, high school biology teacher saves the day. You know, that's a, that's a trope we get, <laughs> we get all too often. Uh, so it is fresh out of development hell. This is a movie that, you know, wasn't really sure if it was ever going to be released, you know, after spending $200 million on it, of course, we were gonna see it eventually, but um, you know, one that COVID delayed quite a bit. And then apparently Amazon purchased for some amount uh, greater than the, the $200 million dollar budget which is kind of interesting um my first initial thoughts of this i really i didn't go into this expecting really anything i knew almost nothing about it i saw a few seconds of a trailer before watching it which told me you know kind of like oh it's gonna be sci-fi there's aliens interesting um i i do love chris pratt so i did have that expectation that like i was like oh well at least i'm probably gonna like his character because you know even in uh like Jurassic World and movies like that, I even though I hated the, the film themselves, I still kind of in, enjoyed the part that Chris Pratt plays normally. Um, so this does have, in my opinion, some great visual effects. You can really see the budget there. <laughs> there's there's quite a, a quite a bit of it that looks really really cool. Um, and as I expected, Chris Pratt is just a great actor. I thought he was really cool in the part that he played. He's he's always just you know super charismatic. Um, he he you know steals steals the scene a lot. Uh, this is, it, it bugs me in quite a few ways. There are a lot of the cut the bullshit moments where it's just like, all right, how did that happen? What it like, come on. Like there's quite a few moments where I, I really said to my screen, like, come on. Um, but honestly, that was not enough for me to lose my suspension of disbelief. I did, I did actually still, still enjoy it through all that. Um, the, one of the things that did bug me the most, this is, I, I thought we were getting away from this trope in, in gun action movies. I thought that like John Wick and a lot of the other, you know, more accurate gun movies that came out that actually show reloading and people running out of ammo. I thought we were starting it, but this is one of those movies where apparently in, in the future, in 30 years, you just don't need to reload. People make it a point to check magazines and actually pick up extra magazines, but then somehow their 30 round mag has, you know, 120 shots in it. It's no idea how that happens. It must be future technology that I do not understand. That's all that I could chalk it up to. Um, but to give this a verdict, I did, I did enjoy this. I mean, it's, it's a popcorn flick. You know, you're, if you go into this expecting some mind bending movie, that's going to, you know, change your world, you're, you're going to be sorely disappointed. Um, but to give it a verdict, I, I enjoyed it enough to give it a yes with the caveat that I would not start a prime subscription for this. I don't think it's, I don't think it's worth that. If you already have prime, I think it's, it's worth your time in it, but you know, this is not something I would say you need to go out and immediately get prime to see but um what about you how do you feel about this one um I, I disagree with one major thing uh those were clearly 127,000 round magazines <laughs> um because those things were like brr, brr, brr. I, I think that might just actually actually um noise filtered what the sound i made oh but i heard those, it they, i heard it okay they f fired very quickly yeah. um so you know like there's a little bit of the gun stuff in there um there's one particular thing i'm going to mention later in the episode um about a particular kind of uh, that really irked me uh, okay. regarding the the sort of the realism of the firearms um yeah this this movie i mean i i had i had a couple issues with it um i I tend to hate time travel movies. 
um, without spoiling it, there are a few things that they did in the story that were able to actually fill some of the major plot holes that you see in time travel films, um, which I thought was cool. Um, I, it pissed me off a lot less. Um, mm-hmm. But there's still the weird, like, you know, the sort of strange paradoxes and stuff that, that happen. But, you know, it's like, like you said, it's a popcorn movie, so don't waste your time thinking about it. Um, uh, I thought the aliens were cool. Um, I thought they did a really interesting job of, of making them uh, scary in a way that's very primal. Like, um, they did, s- s- in a few ways, re- suspiciously much remind me of Edge of Tomorrow aliens. Same. Um, yep. Another good sci-fi, because basically what I thought was like, okay, Chris Pratt, Edge of Tomorrow is what I'm about to watch. Um, different film. I, I like Edge of Tomorrow better, um, but I mean, you know, this movie has some emotion in it. Um, it has some some humanity in it. Um, I think they picked the right people for the, the roles. Um, I thought they were a, a little heavy handed with the comic relief in a few spots. Um, but when I when I got done watching this movie, my thoughts were that was fun. I'm like, I like that. Um, I, I was like, that was that was an excellent movie because I was never bored. I was always entertained. It was super late. And I was like, when I started watching it and I was like, man, I might need to finish this tomorrow when I started. And I was like, man, I can't finish this tomorrow. I got to finish this now. Um, cool. The story's cool. The weird, weird twists kind of ish are cool. Um, uh, there's a little bit of character development with a few of the characters in ways that I think is pretty awesome. And uh, I, I felt a lot of introspection for this movie. Um, so once again, while it's not some um, amazing film that's, you know, some groundbreaking sci-fi that's going to just screw up your whole life because of how crazy it is. It's, it's um, not a rival, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's, no, it's not a rival. Um, but, but nowhere near a rival, mind-bending. Um, but... Yeah, I, I think that this is one that um, that I got to give a yes to because, you know, I've been disappointed with sci-fi recently and I was not optimistic going into this movie. But yeah, I mean, it's uh, watch it. Um, but yeah, I, I think I agree with Ty. You know, this is not one that you should pay for Prime just to see the movie. Um, there have been a few movies where I've done that, like stuff comes out on Disney Plus and I'll actually subscribe for a month just to watch it. Mm-hmm. Um, this is not one of those movies, but if you have Prime, um, it's in the subscription. Spend a couple hours on it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Yeah. Yeah, this is one where I would say, you know, we I did not feel like I wasted my time so they wouldn't have to. I feel like we I spent right. my time in a way that I enjoyed it and yeah, I feel like others should should probably do the same. So this is yeah, we could we could bring spoiler Terry out from the future, from 28 years in the future. Spoiler Terry is here and um that's going to be a crazy edit. Um, oh god. What am I doing? Why do you do this to yourself? 